Hello friends, myself Sonia John, Assistant Professor from Nursing Department. I am going to take a top, small topic that is pancreatitis. Pancreatitis, pancreatitis we know as the pancreas are the parts of endocrine system and these are the, uh, and this is the organ which produces insulin and which maintains the endocrine or which acts over the uh, endocrine system. So, pancreatitis. Pancreatitis, it is defined as the inflammation of the pancreas. We know that uh, we have pancreas which produces insulin. So, if there is any infection or inflammation and that is leads to pancreatitis. Next, it's of two types, acute and chronic. Acute is the sudden onset or the infection which is occurs, acute or sudden. Chronic is that is it's lasts for a long period of time or once the patient who has suffered from pancreatitis, if he is, has, he is having the repeated episodes or which lasts for a long period of time, that is termed as chronic pancreatitis. Next causes, causes long term use of alcohol. If the person is consuming alcohol for a long period of time, that is maybe because of he is taking uh, alcohol for 7 to 10 years or more than that. So, if he is a person is consuming alcohol for a long period of time, that is one of the cause for causing pancreatitis. Next is bacterial or viral infection. If the person, the person who is having pancreatitis, if he is having any attack of any bacterial infection or it has been caused because of any bacteria or viral uh, uh, infection that leads to pancreatitis. Then is autoimmuno problems. I have already told that autoimmuno problems are the problems when the auto uh, that is our immune system uh, defects back and when uh, its, uh, its process is to uh, uh, resist from the uh, any bacterial or viral or any fungal infection. But when the or, uh, immune system attacks on itself, then there will be autoimmune problems and there may be many diseases because of this. These are related to and this is one of the cause for causing pancreatitis. Next, injuries to the pancreas. If there is an injury to the pancreas because of any accident at all, this is also one of the cause for causing pancreatitis. Then gallstones. Gallstones are the uh, stones which are there in the gallbladder. When the stones are produced there in the gallbladder, so what happens? It will irritate and there will be infection or inflammation and this can cause pancreatitis. Next we move on to the pathophysiology. Pathophysiology what happens when uh, the enzymes which has been produced in the pancreas, what happens? When it is had been they are having self digestion that is when the, there will be autoimmuno problems what happens the uh, enzymes which are produced there that will be eaten by its own enzymes so when there is self digestion of the pancreas by its own pancreatic enzyme like trypsin that is the specialty the trypsin uh, enzyme when it is being self digested so what happened obstructing the blood of the pan uh, obstructing the flow of the pancreatic juice so there will be obstructions when when the or uh, enzyme is self digest taking digestion so what happens because of that there will be obstruction in the production of the pancreatic juice then there, there, there will be the flow will not be uh, going on of the pancreatic juice which will lead to activating the powerful enzyme within the pancreas so what happens because of the self digestion there will be obstruction in the pancreatic juice and because of that what will happen the powerful enzymes in the pancreas will be activated so because of that which will lead to activation of an enzyme so there will be activation of the enzyme and there will be vasodilation vasodilation means that the vessels will vessels or the blood vessels will be dilated or then there will be necrosis necrosis means tissue death and erosion erosion means mucosal breaks and hemorrhage hemorrhage means bleeding so because of this self digestion of the own protein like trypsin so there will be obstruction of the pancreatic juice and which will be there will be activation of the powerful enzymes within the within the pancreas and which will lead to activity activation of the enzymes which will lead to that is the blood vessels will be dilated there will be tissue death and there will be mucosal breaks and which will lead to hemorrhage. Next we move on to the clinical uh, manifestations. So 
we know when any 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 of the causes or any of the disease condition under the GI uh, conditions there will be every day everywhere there will be abdominal pain so there will be the patient may be suffering from severe abdominal pain then the patient will be having back pain then weight loss weight loss because the patient will not be able to take sufficient uh, food there will be anorexia that is he may be not feeling hungry so what happened there will be less nutritional uh, status so what happened because of that only and when the uh, enzymes are uh, self digested because of that or what happens the patient will may lose weight so they will be weight loss then sweating the patient may have excessive perspiration that is xiphoresis that the patient will be having excessive sweating then there will be vomiting or nausea then that is the feeling the nausea means the patient will be having a sensation of vomit and vomiting means the patient will feel vomiting as there is fullness of uh, stomach and there will be as the this gastric contents and the uh, pancreatic juice and self diet because of these all things what happens the patient will have vomiting then the patient may have fever that is the way, as the way there is inflammation so there will be increasing temperature then jaundice next which will lead to hypotension hypotension the patient will have decreased blood pressure then tachycardia the patient will have increased heart rate then cyanosis cyanosis because of necrosis that is tissue death the patient will have cyanosis that is bluish discoloration of the skin then respiratory distress the patient will have respiratory distress and as the insulin production is decreased so what happen the patient may be hyperglycemia patient may be having hyperglycemia that is increased the glucose production and decreased insulin production so there will be increased the glucose production and decreasing insulin production in these patients then hypocalcemia the patient may have hypocalcemia then next we move on to the diagnosis diagnosis first uh, we'll uh, as analyze the uh, enzymes uh, serum so what we'll analyze serum lipase and amylase level so uh, to diagnose the serum uh, lipase and amylase level we'll diagnose we'll uh, detect the serum lipase and amylase level then blood test will be done blood test the wvc will be increased because of inflammation and infection then x ray will be done x ray to uh, detect pancreatitis ultrasound count ultrasound also to view the uh, uh, pancreatic uh, uh, cyst then uh, then ct scan <coughs> ct scan also whether to find out any whether any gold stones are produced or any bacterial infection or because of any uh, inflammation or infection to assess that then stool examination stool examination is done to uh, assess the uh, color of stool is uh, culture is done and then ERCP ERCP is electro magnetic retrograde corangio pancreatography it is a uh, thing in, in, through which the patient uh, through which the uh, this inflammation of the pancreas and visualization of the pancreas are to be done next we move to the management management includes medical management surgical management and nursing management first we move on to the medical management that if the patient is having nausea or vomiting for that or to treat that nasogastric suctioning is uh, done to uh, so that the patient may not aspirate then analgesic to uh, administer the patient will be administered with analgesic to relieve from pain then iv administration that is to maintain the fluid and electrolyte or to maintain the nutritional status the patient will be um, not be able to uh, because of anorexia the patient will not be able to take food so that to relieve from that or to maintain the nutritional status iv administration or the fluid electrolyte balance should be maintained then antacid antacid is administered to uh, reduce the acidity that is uh, then and move on to the surgical management surgical management first include drain fluid that if any of the fluid is accumulated accumulated in the pancreatic duct so the uh, duct should be drained from fluid so to remove the uh, or drain the fluid from the pancreatic duct next to remove the gold stones there will be pancreatic uh, in the pancreatic duct there will be gold stones so in the gall bladder so remove the gall stones 
then relieve blockage if any there is any blockage in the uh, pancreatic because of there will be obstructing of pancreatic juice so what happen the pancreatic duct will we have blockage so we have to relieve the duct from blockage next if rare cases are there for surgery uh, and these cases are indicated if the if there is remo uh, we have to remove the dead or infected pancreatic duct if there is any dead or pan uh, uh, dead or infected pancreatic duct in rare cases surgery is indicated for those patients who have dead or infected pancreatic duct next nursing management nursing management includes first we have to maintain the uh, fluid and electrolyte balance then the patient should be given uh, medications as per the doctor's order and uh, if the surgery has been done then the uh, dressings has to be done as per the aseptic techniques and uh, administer the medications as per the doctor's order Pro uh, provide the patient with comfortable position uh, place the patient place the patient in a comfortable position and then provide psychological and physical support thank you thank you and thank you